Yes, the pole toppled over. She was hit on the shoulders, banged her head hard, and bones were fractured. She suffers from a brain injury, and some days thinking of just what she needs to do is difficult for her. But she has an endless spirit that is moving her forward despite her injuries. I've been practicing. You have been practicing. Good. For three hours a day, Diana Demers is in therapy, strengthening her legs, working on balance, trying to regain the independent life she once had. I get tired. Yeah, I get tired. I ask her if I can go to the bed, and I have to help with the walker to get to my bed. In early August, Diana had gone to the Lancaster Fairgrounds with her family. They were watching the circus when the wind started howling and the tent lifted. I tried to get out as fast as I could, but I was way over in the corner. So I just grabbed my grandson, picked him up, and we ran, tried to run out, but I was the last one out. So you got him ahead of you? Is yeah. that what you did? Yeah. Her grandson Trevor barely made it out, but Diana was knocked to the ground. A pole from the tent on top of her. Her head was bleeding. She got eight staples and was left with a brain injury. I talk a little different. My grandson says I talk like a baby. But I can't help it. That's how, I, that's how my voice came back. For two and a half weeks, she has been at Health South Rehabilitation Hospital. A cervical fracture forced her to wear a neck brace up until a few days ago. And with fractured ribs and a dislocated ankle, standing and sitting have been challenging. But she's made remarkable improvements. Well, my shoulder was so swelled up, I couldn't even hardly move the wheelchair. So now I'm doing better. I can go fast now in the wheelchair. I'm a speed demon. <laughs> A smile is never far from her face, her attitude always positive. She admits a storm on the horizon now makes her nervous, but she is determined to persevere. I don't want to give up. I have to, I have to be strong for my grandkids. Now, Diana will be discharged from Health South tomorrow. She'll be living with her daughter for the time being. A home care nurse will be assisting her, and Diana says that she'll be working extra hard because she is itching to go back to work and, most of all, go back home. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.